Rush Duel is a fast-paced spin-off game of Yu-Gi-Oh! where you can summon as many monsters as you want and draw up to 5 cards each turn. In this series, me and the Dr. Alex progress through each Rush Duel product release and build decks with whatever cards were available at that time. We have been drafting characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's anime and have exclusive access to those characters' boss monsters, and will continue to draft characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush series. Join us as we continue to battle it out in this series, Rush Duel Character Draft. Versus Pack Maximum Force was released April 8th, 2023, and as the name would suggest, focuses on maximum monsters. This set introduces support for two types, Sea Serpents and Machines. This set introduces four new maximum monsters for us to draft, as well as one non-maximum boss monster. I will be taking Supreme Full Steam Magnum Overlord, a 3500 attack maximum card that can gain 600 attack, gain protection from enemy destruction effects, shuffle cards from grave back into deck, shuffle itself back into the deck to draw three, and burn your opponent's life points. Alex will be taking Abyssal Dragon Lord Abyss Poseidra, a 4000 attack maximum monster that can shuffle all monsters in your grave back into deck, destroy one card or all cards on your opponent's field, prevents your opponent from activating trap cards, cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects, and can prevent your opponent from setting cards from their hand. He will also get Abyssal Sea Dragon Abyss Kraken, a 4000 attack maximum card that can shuffle monsters from your grave back into deck, can weaken opponent's monsters, can destroy a spell trap, can prevent your opponent from activating trap cards, gains destruction prevention from your opponent's effects, can change the battle position of your opponent's monsters, and can gain piercing. He will also get Shine Steel Ultra Dragon Devastar Oki Abyss, a 3500 attack maximum monster that can add Abyss Kite trap cards from grave to hand, can gain attack equal to the attack of one monster on the opponent's field, can gain 500 attack, and can destroy one face up level 8 or lower monster. Finally, Alex gets Abyss Slayer Asperus, a 2500 attack sea serpent that can special summon a level 4 or lower sea serpent from grave, and if you have no monsters in your grave, destroy one level 8 or lower monster. So this is the deck we're bringing to today's game. This is Dinosaurs, with my maximum. So basically, we really want to play Dinosaurs, we really like Dinosaurs, and Dinosaurs don't look like they're going to be getting any support for quite a long time, as we keep seeing more and more spoilers of the new sets coming out, we don't see anything for my beloved Dinos. But Dinosaurs do have a maximum in Dynamic Dino Dynamics, which is fine. It was okay when it came out. Its attack points are a little bit low at 3400, and its effects are a little bit yikes, especially into other maximums, because as you can see, maximum mode, if your opponent has no face at level 9 or higher monsters on the field, send one monster from your hand to the graveyard, destroy two monsters in your opponent's field. So obviously this just doesn't work into other maximums, and its attack is too low to make it really threaten other maximums in that regard. But with the other new support cards we have in Heavenly Gift, the BBB Beast Brave Brandish, and the Heavenly Invitation, I think there is enough to say that we could try and bring back some of the old maximums, even though they might seem a little bit underpowered. Beyond that, the rest of the deck is Dinosaur Beats. We do have the Super King Rex, which can bring back monsters, and we have our newly released Ruthless Slash Mega Plunder, which is the new best normal level 6 or lower dinosaur in terms of attack points. Obviously, it does have less defense points than Mega Zowla, but it has the extra 200 attack, which can be really relevant. Then the other big boss monster, Rage Wrecker Dragon Anger Rogue. So if you're another face at Dinosaur Monster on your field center, card of the deck to the graveyard, all face at monsters with the highest attack on your opponent's field lose attack equal to the defense of the highest monster with the highest defense on your field until the end of the turn. So if we can get out something like our Super King Rex, we can weaken Alex's biggest monster by 2,000. So let's say it gets out a 4,000 attack maximum, we reduce it by 2,000, and then our 2,500 attack Anger Rogue or Super King Rex can just run over it. Really, really, really good. So going through the card by card, we have two Mega Plunder, we have three Urubi, two Celebrontosaurus, these are just in here because they have big attack, and big attack can be really relevant when we have Jurassic World to get over a lot of things. We're on three of the middle of Dynamics, we're on two Rex, two Anger Rogue, one Mirage Dragon is our legend, this is just to deal with combat traps, anything like Magic Cylinder or Mirror Force that Alex might have. We have three Dynamics L and three Dynamics R. This card is just one of the best generic dinosaur cards at 1300 attack, but also is part of the maximum, so of course it's going to be in here. We're on two Repero, again just to try and facilitate our maximum play. Three Mechtherinazoraptor, this is just in here to try and filter. We are in three copies of Ritzy King Rex, which is it's it's good it's i find it very rare now that alex has no cards in his hand but if he does this card will be really good for that and also we can use it as part of our fusion we're on the two heavenly protection for filtering run upstart goblin again just next draw can be useful and also it can be used with ritzy king rex and our fusion hyper upstart king rex 
We're on the one copy of Fusion because again, it's not on primary game plan. But we do like having the option. The two Brandish, two copies of Invitation, two copies of Jurassic World and the Torrential Tribute. We're on Torrential Tribute specifically because a lot of the new maximum monsters say that your opponent cannot activate trap cards when they're attacking. So ideally, Torrential Tribute hits them as they're summoned and then we don't have to worry about them. So in the extra deck, we have high props to King Rex. 2800 attack is pretty good, but using its effect, it can boost itself up to 35. And then under Jurassic World, that can become 38, which although not enough to beat over a maximum because they generally have a, like 4000 attack, it can be enough to get up there and get close and then use something like Anger Rogue or something in our side deck to deal with it. Speaking of our side deck, we have basically a strategy if Alex is bringing like one of his two new maximums he hasn't used yet, we need to have a strategy specifically to deal with it because otherwise if he just slaps down a maximum, we could just immediately lose. So we're basically going to side out all of our own maximum or specifically maximum stuff. So our three middle pieces and all of our support spell and traps. And we're going to side in basically just a bunch of regular monsters. We're going to get in Super King Rex and another Anger Rogue because these are going to be good enough boss monsters that we can summon them out, use them to weaken Alex's monsters and try to take over them. One of the best anti-maximum cards there is, Talismanic Seal Array. Again, weakens the attack of the monster. Shuffle four monsters from your grave into the deck. One face monster on your opponent's field loses attack equal to its level times 2,000. Obviously, maximums are level 10, so it'll be losing 2,000 attack, which cutting it in half down to 2,000 is really, really, really important. We have another copy of Fusion. Again, if we can combine our Talismanic Seal Array or our Anger Rogue with our Hyper Upstart King Rex, we can use that to kind of bash over it, especially even if Alex has any other ways to boost their attack. We have the Dark Hole, which a lot of the time is going to be better than Upstart Goblin if we just need to get rid of a maximum. Now, some of the maximums I do believe have Destruction Prevention, but Dark Hole is good enough. The Destruction Prevention that some of Alex's maximums have is not foolproof. They need him to have no monsters in the graveyard. So Dark Hole will be live at least some of the times. We have the Magical Stone Excavation. This is a very, very good card. We can use it to bring back our Dark Hole or our Talismanic Seal Array if it's already in the graveyard, and we just need as many ways and to access as many cards as possible to deal with Alex's maximums if he's able to summon them. Dynamic Pressure, this is, or this used to be a really, really strong trap. I don't know if this can be particularly good against Alex's deck because an extra thousand attack in the face of a 4,000 attack monster doesn't usually mean a lot, but we thought we'd include it just in case because he might not be on the maximums. And then Magic Cylinder, one of Alex's two remaining maximums, I believe, doesn't let you use trap cards during the battle phase, but the other one doesn't. So I think... This card could be good depending on which maximum Alex brings, assuming he brings one. So this is the deck. I think if Alex isn't on a maximum deck, hopefully we can just slam down our dynamics and beat him to death with that, and that should be enough to win. If he is on a maximum deck, we can think we have to wait for games two and three and side into a strategy that can really beat it. So it's going to be uh, a bit risky, but we do love our dinos. They haven't let us down before, and we do love the deck. So let's fire on in and see what Alex has got for us. So, you've been on a bit of a tear, Mr. Alex. You have been yep. tearing me a new one with your Sea Serpents, which are very good. I think if I was to place them right now, I think we spoke about this a little bit before, I think I would have them tier one. They're definitely a tier one deck. I just, I think they're mid to bottom of tier one. That's kind of where I think I would place them at the moment. Yeah. Um, saying that, I'm playing a deck today that I don't think is even on the tier list. It's like it's pretty far down. But it is a deck that I have a lot of confidence in, and it's a deck I really, really enjoy. Um okay. I I'm gonna assume that you're still on Sea Serpents. You still have two maximum monsters you haven't used. Obviously you could be just doing anything else. You could be on like generic sea serpents, you could be doing anything with any of the new cards we've got. So I don't actually know what you're on, but shall we fire on in and see what you've decided to bring? Yeah, let's go. Alright. Uh, this one. Question now, though, is do I want to go first or second? I think I'm going to opt for first. Okay. Alright, well, I'm going to start with Upstart Goblin. Give you a thousand Ooh. life. Just dinosaurs. Uh, I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> what this deck is. Question becomes, how do I want to play this? I guess we will normal summon out Celebrontosaurus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, this could be Cyborg. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll summon out Upstart King Rex. We'll tribute both and summon out Super King Rex. We'll then fire off Super King Rex. We'll bring back Celebrontosaurus. And then I think we're going to pass on that. 
This is my big play. Okay. Well, come on, Umi. Aha, but it's not weakening my dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Glow Angler. Okay, the angler's back. Reveal that we are on the Kraken. Okay, I thought you might be on Kraken. Um, Kraken is oh, it's, it's the most annoying one, I think. Sending weather eels, effect I can't use. Well, I can't use yet. If you tribute, you could use it. Ah. Not now, though. Left side of the Kraken. Okay, so it's 25 with Umi. Uh, you can't use its effect. You have enough cards in Grave. Or enough monsters. Uh, no, I can. Oh, you can? Shuffle? Oh, up to. That's that's the key part I didn't read there. So, yeah, we'll shuffle three. Uh, super Ooh. by nine. This is pretty mm -hmm. rough. Oh, goodbye, my big boy. Hmm. Now, staring down a 2,500 attacker. What do we do? I think I'm going to set... Go to defense. Set another monster. And set a back row. And we'll pass on that. Can't get over 25 at the moment. Hmm. Pog. And you love this card. And I guess this card loves you as well. He does. Look at him smile. Oh, we got my legend. Oh, yes. Release the Kraken! Ah, oh, just hard drill three. Okay, this is rough. He's only got one attack, though. I can't attack multiple times. No, but you can oh. give it piercing, right? Piercing. And you can also change my monsters to attack mode. That's right. Change your monster's battle position. Okay. Pitch Umi to do it. Behold. Oh, it's Scream Dog. Apero. Oh, we got to use the new uh, stuff. Activate the other effects. Okay. Uh, we can. It's a lot of damage. Uh, okay. What do we do about this, though? Uh, with this hand, not a ton. This is going to get tricky. We are going to. Tribute two, and mm -hmm. summon out my Dino Dynamics. Then, Ooh. going to tribute it to set, 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 and set. Then we'll pass. Okay. Set. Yeah, Kraken's kind of a big asshole, isn't it? Activate. We pitch that. Flip that boy up. Behold, Ruthless Ooh. slash Mega Plunder. Is he a new one? Uh, he's new-ish. He came out a little while ago. It was a, a promo, I believe. Couple away, we can destroy a spell trap. Got my fusion. Yeah, I think. Oh. I'm alive. I live, bitch! <laughs> Okay, let's start with Heavenly Gift. Mm -hmm. Pitch to draw two. Then I will summon out Urubi. Okay. We'll tribute two and summon out Rage Wrecker Dragon Anger Rogue. Nice. Uh, I will throw up a Biscuit Protection. Skein attack. Cannot be destroy your opponent's card effects. Okay. I guess we'll throw down BBB Beast Brave Brandish. Level 2 maximums back into deck and draw. Mm, not the ideal draw here. Alright, let's activate Jurassic World. <laughs> we'll then activate Anger Roll. Right. Mm, unfortunately. Yeah, that extra 1000 coming in clutch. Hmm, if I didn't draw a brick just now, I could still out it, but... Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, I have drawn into a second copy of Mega Plunder, which means I can't use the effect of my second Anger Rogue, because I need another dinosaur out. Oof. So, uh... Yeah, I guess I'll uh, <laughs> let you slap me to death. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Alright, 
game two. All right, I think we are going still to go first. I think going first is what I need here. All right, we will throw down Jurassic World. Mm -hmm. Then I will, I think, just summon out some boys. They're, they're big-ish boys. You never know. They might be too big for you to deal with. We'll pass on that. Uh, well, fortunately, my hand isn't a complete brick because I can Grand Extreme. Oh. Okay. Center Kraken. Do I use this? Oh, do I set it? Uh, yeah. Go battle. Okay. Uh, yeah. My poor, poor Dino Dynamics L. <laughs> okay. Mm, all right. We will summon Mech the Resinoraptor. We'll fire off its effect and get rid of another L to draw. Uh, yes. Ulti male. Okay. Just gives you life points and attack. Okay, that's fine. Um, we will, I guess, activate another Jurassic World. And then set. I guess we'll put the other boys to defense and pass. Okay. Okay. Of a very aggressive hmm. open here, unfortunately. Well, Angler uses a set. Okay. Put the SL card in now. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What do you know? I... Okay. Yeah, actually, let's put left. Okay. There's a foot. Look all these guys back. We can get cheeky damage. Mm hmm. Okie dokie. And get rid of the rabbi. Poor raptor. Okie dokie. Uh, what do we do with this then is the question. Unfortunately, this is not live. So we will summon upstart king rex. Or then tribute to summon out angaro. Then we'll summon out Mirage Dragon Ooh. and Urubi. Fire off Anger Rogue. Set a back row, go to battle. We will then attack into your Kraken middle with Mirage Dragon. Get into your Kraken L with Anger Rogue. And then get your life points directly with Raptor, which is Urubi's mm -hmm. OCG name. I think sounds better. <laughs> no, no, pal. Oh dear, oh dear. That is a very breaks hand. Oh, am I actually going to win a game? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm scared to summon, like tribute summon, in case one of your back row does something. <laughs> um, what you're on? 57, and I currently have what? 34, 50, 64 damage on board. Unless my maths is way off. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight to battle. Yeah, I think there's a lethal and I can't activate. Oh, yeah. hmm. No mirror force for you. Oh, yeah, I was, I was super worried because if you have like torrential tribute and I just tribute summon a guy to try and make my board better on the crackback in case you stop the attack. So I'm like, but I could just lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but still one all going into game three. You know what? I'm gonna take first, I think. No, I want first. Alright. Deep sea dragon bat eel. Okay. It's revealing Reveal up to three. Revealing one. One turn in hand. Curious to yeah. what this big decision you have is. I feel like if you had all three maximum, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Great angler. Oh, yes, we'll take Kraken. 
Okay. Well, actually, that entirely depends on this. Actually, no, it doesn't. Still could have added it either way. But we'll discard the draw. Then I will tribute to summon out Mega Plunder. Set, set, battle, and then just attack. Pass back. Oh, do you know? Okay. Has to be this. Mm, that's terrible. Hit magical stone excavation. Newly limited. Uh, yes. Oh, right. Oh, no, we can send that. Do that. Let's fade the other only in hand. <laughs> this seems like a really intricate combo. <laughs> <laughs> Be over the 2k. Goodbye, Mega Plunder. Uh, okay, that's a hand. We will start by normal summoning Dynamix. Then we'll summon out Dynamix L. Mm -hmm. We're going to tribute both and summon out King Rex. Off. Use King Rex effect. Bring back the boy. Yeah. Set. Go to battle. Run into Mirror Force. No, it's Ooh, widespread. Widespread. Okay. Yeah, uh... you know, I keep forgetting widespread's even in. <laughs> yeah, it's because it was in um, a battle pack, wasn't it? Hmm. And it's also a weird one because it's like, I don't know if there are many situations where you want to run it over Miracles. There might be like some really niche cards that specifically say like, can't be killed unless targeted or something. Or it doesn't even targets, but I don't even know. Yeah. Right, we'll pass on that. Oh. Okay. Something weather eel. Drop two monsters to grave into deck. Excavate top two. Add one. Uh, level 10 to hand. Level heat 10s. Hmm. No tens there. Where are we going again? Let's try again. <sighs> See if you can get lucky. Got what, nine targets in deck? Got 28 targets? Yeah. Hey, there he is. <laughs> Give me that left. Now, is that the piece you needed to complete a maximum? That would be the ultimate lucky. No, unfortunately not. All right, you hit my talismanic seal array. Hmm. Yes, I will do Grand Extreme. Mm, okay. We're not tributing yet. Oh, okay. Put everything back. So we can... Start go battle. Okay. Ow. And ow. Okay, let's see what we can do here. We will start by summoning out Upstart King Rex. And for once, his effect is actually live. Then, we're going to summon out Mech Therizina Raptor. Or of his effect, we'll pitch to draw. Uh, I will pop this now, I think. Okay, so you're going to gain a thousand attack. A thousand life, and you can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Okay. Hmm. A land card effect. Okay, that's a little bit more annoying. So the question is now, do I do this? All right, I think we're gonna summon out Gracesaurus, set a back row. Then I think we just go to battle and clear over one of these. Then we're just gonna pass on that. Okay. Um, hmm. I think I am just going to do this. I'm going to fire off Torrential. Oh. Hope you don't have. Oh, 
Okay, okay, that's really good then, because I could have just been spanked there. Alright, so now we will summon Gracosaurus. We will summon Urubi. And we'll summon Dino Carriage R. And just go straight to battle. Mm -hmm. Get him for 13, get him for 15, and get him for 14. And pass. Okay, I need the... Ooh. Oh, don't tell me to screw into your maximum. <laughs> yep. Let no joyful voice be heard. <laughs> <laughs> As we who ready to wake the kraken? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will change a position of one of your monsters. We will shuffle five boys away. We can one of the monsters destroy a spell trap. Okay. Go to battle. Oh, okay. We're not out of it yet, but it's not looking great. <clears throat> the problem is that back row as well. Alright, well we have the Jurassic World. I think the next thing I need to do is this. So that, 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 that. Yeah. So tribute to summon our Anger Rogue. Case. Can it be destroyed by card effects? Okay. We'll then summon out Celebrontosaurus and we'll summon out the Dynamics L. Tribute both and summon out Super King Rex. Fire a Super King Rex effect. Bring back my big boy. Activate the effect of Anger Rogue. Which unfortunately is just not big enough. Oh! <laughs> Oh, I've just lost it. I've lost it. Umi again. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I needed. I think the second anger rogue is what would have won me this, but yeah, unfortunately, that's all we got. So yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. It's ah. Uh, I think I don't. Okay, it's it, it's easy just to say sea serpent op, right? But I think what it really comes down to is the new maximums are like the best maximums we've ever gotten. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but I still think they lose to like XQE, right? Yeah. Um, the annoying thing is what people have been doing to deal with maximums is they've been running like Magic Cylinder is like a really good like anti-maximum that also works against like XQE Flame sort of thing. But Kraken and I think Poseidra both say your opponent cannot activate trap cards when you declare an attack. So even though they have the destruction prevention, they both say, no, Magic Cylinder also doesn't work on me. Now, obviously, you also managed to use its effect to destroy my Talismanic uh, Seal Array, which also would have just killed it there. So I could have just weakened it by, what was it, 300 times its level or 200 yeah. times its level, uh, which also would have just made it low enough to kill. But yeah, it's a, it's a shame because I think the Dinosaurs are a really cool deck. I also think Anger Rogue is a really good anti-maximum card but it's like you say getting the extra thousand was relevant but ironically this time it was umi that kind of gave it that extra because like the thousand didn't mean anything it was 1200 in fact even just mm. 1100 that um let it live which is uh, a bit of a shame i also didn't get to use my uh, my fusion at all but then again you know i was saying that getting out of fusion is not that much different than getting out a maximum you managed to get out your maximum a ton but i suppose again your deck has a lot of filtering and a lot of ways to or into your maximum and i think twice as well you just did hard draw your maximum <laughs> so i don't yeah. think i can really do much about that unfortunately as well a lot of the other maximum cards uh, including my own one uh dino was it dino dynamics is his new name is really bad into other maximums because it specifically says like if your opponent doesn't have a, a level 10 monster you can pop a monster so it's like oh okay so it's just bad into other maximums and also a lot of my maximum specifically have like 3,500 attack, whereas a lot of your ones have like the 4,000 base. So they're just kind of at a natural disadvantage. But yeah, we've we've uh, we've gotten to a, an interesting stage where I think we have somehow accidentally 
given you like all of the best archetypes because <laughs> <laughs> i think right now the strongest uh, decks are xqe um i think galaxies are both pretty good like galaxy and dark galaxy i like the sea serpents i think the dragons are also doing really really strong at the moment uh, and then like sky saviors i think is also up there so like looking at that it's like you know xq is kind of both of us but you know i think you have more to work with them because i think they're also like 500 defense archetype if i recall yes so they can go into the um soldiers and stuff but the couple that which off the soldiers they didn't mm. <laughs> like the big ones i think machine as well has been slipping a little bit they haven't really gotten any new good support in a long time like they still have they're still they're still a fighter right but they, they feel like a top of tier two now instead of like a tier one deck mm. um but because of that it's meaning that playing against all of your new dragons and sea serpent stuff especially it's getting oh it's getting rough man like five that five-headed dragon and these new maximums they're just they're so difficult to out and i guess you could even argue that five-headed dragon is almost like a maximum right it's this massive attack thing that basically has protection built in which is exactly what maximums are they're like it's really awkward to, to out those things and you need very specific things to do it so for example i think both of both maximums and five-headed dragon kind of need attack reduction effects for the most part to get rid of them yeah which is uh is super tricky it can be really really tricky but yeah i'm happy that we got to see these cards and i think the new maximums are really cool i also think it's really good that we're actually seeing a bit of maximum dominance because back in back when, when maximums were first introduced they felt very much like oh i've got out my maximum if you don't have like a clean out i've just won because i summoned a maximum right but as the game went forward maximums felt a little bit more like well are you gonna draw these pieces the game sped up a bit so now you can do a lot more damage in one turn um it's not necessarily worth the investment some decks would still get blown out by it but other decks like had like nice outs to them but now that we're getting these new maximums that do feel like really powerful boss monsters it does feel like maximum dominance might start coming back which i don't think is inherently a bad thing right i do think maximums are cool and they should feel like a really cool huge boss monster that is something that has to be overcome so i i do quite like them I'd also like yeah. dinosaurs to get more support though so if we could get some more dinosaur support please can i mean <laughs> oh but yeah gg buddy gg